is refreshing. If you look at the details of the identities of countries involved, we have Colombia, we have India, we have uh, Republic of Guinea, we have Morocco, and then Hungary. I think this is significant. And if you look at the details of it, as proposed, it is not limited to only uh, service passport holders and then diplomatic passport holders, which has often been the case. Um, as I was saying, I'm witnessing this for the first time, where the focus is on the ordinary citizens. It's something we need to celebrate. And uh, the committee has been expectant that this agreement uh, are brought to, to us for necessary works to be done. And uh, for a long time, the understanding I had is that the detailed agreement had, was being worked on. God being so good, the detailed agreement has been done, it's been brought to us. We are just hoping that it will be laid and referred to this committee and then we work upon it. I think that uh, at the dawn of independence, when Ghana was seen as a toast of um, Africa, that belief is coming back again because without showing any disrespect to the other countries, if you look at countries like India, uh, Iran, these are significant countries who don't just enter into a visa waiver agreement with uh, sub-regional African countries for nothing. And it is also because for the past three years or so, we have conducted ourselves well. That is why uh, the largest trade agreement besides the WT, uh, w, uh, the World Trade, uh, trade will be cited in Ghana. It is not ordinary. So this is, is re-enkindling the confidence and the belief that other sub-regional countries have in Ghana. And it is very refreshing. And I want to assure uh, Ghanaians that as soon as this is laid and referred to our committee, we will, we will work with uh, speed and make sure that this is ratified as soon as possible. But it's a celebration that's something that we have to be proud of. Our country, the confidence in Ghana is back again.